Hi friends, if you are not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel. My channel name is Real Life Indrajit Pal, and press the bell icon for more technical updated video. Today our discussing topic is differential relay. Differential means the difference between two. So what is differential relay? A differential relay is one that operates when the phasor difference of two or more similar electrical quantities exceeds a predetermined value. Suppose in a circuit the current is flowing. Normal condition the current is flowing. Uh, I1 current and I2 current is flowing. As per this diagram is concerned, if it is a transformers and it is the uh, city secondary and it, it, this is the primary of the city and this is the secondary coil of the city, this is also the secondary of the city too. And if the current is flowing in this direction to this direction, the city current will flow in the opposite direction. So this current I1 current is flowing in that direction and the I2 current is flowing in that direction. So what is the um, uh, current is flowing through the relay? Relay coil is I2 minus I1. If I1 and I2 is equal to each other, then the zero current is flowing to this operating coil. So the relay will not operate and trip the circuit breaker. This is the basic funda of differential relay. We, we have to measure the difference of the current between the primary and secondary uh, winding or secondary circuit of a transformers, alternators and very uh, highly <coughs> costly equipment, electrical equipment. Two type of protections uh, present current balance protections and a voltage balance protections. In that scheme, in a current balance protection, it, it is an electrical, highly costly electrical equipment and we are connecting the city in the both side and the city ratio is 200 is to 1 and 200 is to 1. In that case, the current is flowing in that direction to that direction. So the current is flowing, suppose 5 amperes from the city 1. It is the city 1 and it is the city 2. The current is flowing from the city 1 is a 5 ampere and the current is flowing through the city 2 is also the 5 ampere. So that I, I2 minus I1 current is a 0 current is flowing to the operating coil of the relay. So the relay will not operate. If some fault or internal fault is occurred in between these two cities and it's also called the restricted fault but restricted zone. In between these two cities, uh, the zone is restricted so it's called also the restricted zone protection and if the fault is occurred in between these two cities and the current is flowing the uh, the current is fl flowing all the current is flowing um, to the point of the fault so suppose the 1000 ampere fault current is flowing in that direction to that direction and the 2000 ampere um, fault current is flowing from this direction to this directions so if uh, the secondary current will be 5, 5 ampere and in that case the secondary current will be 10 ampere so the two current will be added and the 15 ampere current is flowing to this relay coil so the relay will be operated and trip the circuit breaker and in that case the voltage uh, balance protection uh, we are using here uh, the both sides ct is a ct is a ct both sides city and we are just measuring here the induced emf if uh, if the induced emf is um, equal to each other or the induced emf is changed um, as per the current is concerned so in the normal condition the induced emf in opposition so e1 equal to e2 i1 equal to i2 the healthy condition so no current will flow through the relay coil it is the relay coil it is the relay coil and in the faulty condition the internal fault suppose any internal fault is occurred suppose any internal fault is occurred here so the i1 
is not equal to i2 the primary current differs with the secondary current so the secondary voltage not in balanced condition so then e1 not equal to e2 and the secondary current uh, secondary voltage not in balanced condition current will flow to the relay coil so the current will flow to the relay coil and um, trip the circuit breaker so friend today we discussed about the differential relay it is a very important applications in transformers alternators etc so if you are interested please watch my video thank you very much